around the same place, maybe, but different places for it. We'll do this and this. And then it's, you don't have a renunciation. It's only professional. Okay. Last night we celebrate the Easter Vigil of Blessed Sacrament of Queens. I went there for the vigil because they had the most adult baptisms of any parish in the diocese. So usually that's my custom to go to the parish where there are the most adult baptisms. It was really an inspiring sight because the church was packed uh, to uh, no standing room only, uh, if even that. And it was a, a wonderful celebration, bilingual, Spanish and English. Uh, and it really showed, I think, the faith of that community. See that? Let me see if you can figure, ooh, fall off, okay. Beautiful. Excellent, okay, okay. Which is nice. Okay, should we go out? We'll be there right on time. Three minutes. Let us go. Okay. Father, let us go. My dear friends, on this most holy night, when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life, the church invites her children throughout the world to come together in vigil and prayer. This is the Passover of the Lord. If we honor the memory of his death and resurrection by hearing his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we will be confident that we shall share his victory over death and live with him forever. And let us pray. Father, we share in the light of your glory. Through your Son, the light of the world, make this new fire holy and inflame it with new hope. Purify our minds by this holy celebration of Easter and bring us one day to the feast of eternal light. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Fire is the, is the new fire. It is uh, lit to symbolize Christ who is the light of the world. Uh, it is from there that we light the Easter candle, and the Easter candle then is carried in procession, which we chant, behold the light of Christ. <clears throat> Christ, yesterday and today, the Alpha and the Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages. To him be glory and power through every age, now and forever. Amen. 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 By this holy and glorious wounds, may Christ our Lord Guard us and keep us. Amen. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. Darkness, I guess, is a symbol of sin, uh, and light is the dispelling of darkness, and Christ is the light who dispels the darkness of sin. Oh. 
Lord be in your heart, which proclaim this holy Easter break only in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Spirito. you have brightened this night with the radiance of the risen Christ. Quicken the spirit of sonship in your church. Renew us in mind and body to give a you wholehearted service and grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Tonight, my brothers and sisters, this is the most holy night of the year. On this night, we prepare to celebrate the resurrection of the Lord. He died on Good Friday, but on Easter Sunday, he rose from the dead in his body, not spiritually, but really, he rose from the dead. Tonight, all the symbols help us to understand this rising. We light at the new fire, and from that we lighted the paschal candle. We carried it in procession because Christ is the light of the world. He is the light of our souls. Every important element of nature is used tonight to give us a better understanding of the resurrection, which is a mystery. But we see from our experience all these things help us to understand better that the Word of God uses these natural symbols to teach us the sublime mystery of the resurrection. Tonight, 18 members here will be baptized, 14 others will be fully initiated into the life of the church, and two children will be baptized. How important it is that we recognize that they too pass through the waters of salvation. They too will become new creatures in Christ. You have prepared yourself well, my brothers and sisters. We thank the priest here the catechumenal team, your friends and relatives, your sponsors, those who have come tonight to see this moment of decision in your life. How important it is that we recognize that you have come to Christ and that in Christ you will be saved. Tonight we listened to the epistle to the Romans and we heard that being baptized is being baptized into the death of Christ. We must die to ourselves. We must die to sin in order to rise with Christ. And so tonight, we will rise with him. We celebrate this solemn resurrection. Alleluia. Christ is risen, no more to die. Edward. Okay, Edward, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Look here, okay. Eric, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Christine, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Well, the sacraments of initiation, baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist, originally in the early church were given all at once. And uh, when people are admitted to the church or baptized at Easter, they also receive these sacraments all at one time. It is a wonderful uh, reminder of how the church began but also it, it reminds us that each one of these sacraments makes us 
members of the church and gives us uh, first membership through baptism and confirmation, gives us the, the fullness of the Spirit and the Eucharist, the union with Christ. Carlos, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Who holy. Okay. Jerry, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> too wet, too cold. My dear friends, let us now pray to God our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit upon these candidates for confirmation, to strengthen them with his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. And God, be still with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. be with you. Como se chama? Angel, be still with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. And now we'll be still with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Maria, be still with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Okay. Peace be with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Looking up to heaven to you as Almighty Father, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Este el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo Dichosos olvidados a la cena del Señor.
Puerto de Cristo. Today we're at St. James Cathedral for the uh, principal mass here, 1030, uh, where many of the parishioners, old time parishioners, come back uh, to celebrate Easter together with the friends and relatives. That is, the vigil is the first mass of Easter. Today is Easter Sunday and we celebrate mass again. This is the mass of the resurrection on Easter morning. Yeah. Do we have a count for how many priests we have? The count? You're going to make announcements at the end? Brothers and sisters, we gather today on this Easter Sunday to recognize that Jesus rose from the dead. And rising from the dead, he conquers death and sin at the same time. We struggle in our lives to, to conquer the sin that sometimes is in our own lives. And so as we begin this liturgy to this morning, we call to mind our sins and seek the Lord's, the resurrected Lord's forgiveness. Well, the 
there is a different set of readings. Last night there were the, a lot of Old Testament readings. Today there is a little reading from the Old Testament, from the uh, New Testament and the Gospel. It is a different Gospel that recounts to us uh, the morning of Easter when Mary Magdalene went to the tomb to find the body of Jesus and was surprised that it was not there. People today seek immortality in various ways, not the resurrection, not the belief in the resurrection. Some believe that in some way there is a biological continuation of our life. We live through others. We continue the species. We carry on the name of a family. Somehow we are in communion with our ancestors and with our progeny. It is a biological understanding of immortality. For others today, too, who believe by freezing their bodies, awaiting for science progress, someday they might be defrosted and brought back to life again. There are others who believe immortality comes with human achievement, creativity, notoriety. They pass something on to the world they make a name for themselves, and so they live in the memory of human beings. But we know that nature has a relationship to the cosmos, and some believe that somehow we become part of the cosmos again. Others believe in reincarnation. Others try to experience transcendence, and immortality through psychic experiences. Many, many ways people grasp for what they know instinctively is man's destiny, immortality, but they look in the wrong places. Today we have listened to the story of Jesus. It is the most important way that we can understand what our human immortality is about because we have been touched by divinity. It is Jesus who guarantees that we too someday will rise from the dead, that the Easter mystery, that life continues after the grave, gives us hope and directs our lives. The resurrection of Jesus affirms our real possibility of immortality. Today is Easter. It is a day that we must reaffirm our faith in Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, who guarantees our own immortality. And so I ask you a question. What message do you want to put on your tomb? Should it never be opened again? Or do you believe that that tomb, that place of final earthly rest, will only be the passageway to eternal life. Yes, we believe that Jesus someday will open our tombs to bring us to him in that glorious immortality which he has gained by his own life, death, and resurrection. Today, Easter, we renew the promises of our baptism. Many come into the church on the Easter Vigil. But each one of us was baptized, many of us as infants. Now we have the opportunity to reaffirm our faith, to put aside what is evil, to profess our faith in the triune God. So I ask you now to please stand. We now come among you sprinkly with holy water that reminds you of the day of your baptism. Lord, with Easter joy, we offer you this sacrifice by which your church is reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. 
Speaks with you. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The body of Christ. 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 May Almighty God bless you on this solemn feast of Easter and may he protect you against all sin. Amen. Amen. Through the resurrection of his son, God has granted us healing. May he fulfill his promises and bless you with eternal life. Amen. You have mourned for Christ's sufferings. Now will you celebrate the joy of the resurrection. May you come with joy to the feast that lasts forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Yeah.